Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, the world of Wayne. We have now got issue 17 from Hero Collector. We are doing stage 59 and 60 of Build the Ecto-1. I was so shocked when this come uh, today. I really wasn't expecting it, to be honest with you. And to be honest with you, I believe this is probably the last issue we're getting before Christmas now. So uh, if you only watch me for the Ecto-1, Merry Christmas. And I should really, really put my uh, Christmas jumper on. I'll tell you what, I'll put my Christmas jumper on on the end uh, just for you if you are just the people out there watching me uh, build the Ecto-1. Now, the reason I'm doing two uh, issues today is because there wasn't much to do in issue 59. So I thought I'd pair them together. Uh, we are going to need this section that we were working on last time uh, when you saw my last video. So I think it's probably good to show you exactly what we've got in issue 17. So as you can see, I'm going to just turn through so you can see exactly what we're going to be doing. We've got the car parts for stage 59. We're going to be building, what do they call this? They call it the Martin Marietta UHF signal. That's what that is. And that's what it's looking like there in the next two uh, 61 and 62, they're the inventory of parts we get, but I think it's probably best to just go through the instructions. As you can see, we haven't got much to do in this, we're just putting the sides in, and um, that's pretty much it <laughs> for that one. But it's more than made up for in issue 60 because we're actually completing the whole thing together, and the detail on this box with the little switches inside is pretty amazing. So we're going to be doing all of that. Look, check that out there. And then we're going to be putting this into the vehicle. So it's going to be looking just like that at the end of it. When we come to be doing issue 61, we're doing the rear left interior panel and speaker looking just like that. And then issue 62, exactly the same thing, but on the other side. So probably when we come around to doing it, I will do 61 and 62 together. And then if I turn all the way to the back here, doesn't really give away what there is. It looks like we've got some trim there. Definitely some electric cables and LEDs in these two. Uh, and this looks a bit like, uh, I don't know, some trim panels as well. It's always a surprise when uh, they come, I have to say. That's the first thing I look at. But I do try and get it up on social media uh, to show you what's coming in the pack. Now, if you want to get this for yourself, just head on over to the links down here. If you're in the US, follow the US link. And if you're in the UK, follow the UK link. You'll be able to get yourself all the way from issue one. Uh, those links just say that you've come from the World of Wayne website, so here I collect to know uh, where you've seen this. But uh, let's get cracking on this right now. So yes, yeah, so the stage 59 looks just like that. It is the, the Martin Marietta UHF signal. So uh, I, I'll be honest with you, I, I don't know what that is, but UHF's obviously something to do with radio. Uh, the Martin Marietta is probably a really, really famous name in some sort of electronics or radio technology and uh, I, I mean it escapes me I should have really done some uh, research beforehand but I know you're going to tell me in the comments exactly what Martin Marietta is uh, a UHF I know stands for ultra high frequency so uh, well we're getting there anyway aren't we okay so the first thing we want is the lower panel looking just like this it's got one blank side and another side here has got lots of like indent holes in it what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting these blankers just in on each side but we need to make sure we put them in the right way now, as you can see, if I show you that, this all the way goes all the way to the bottom here, but we have got this side, which is actually got a little gap at the top. It's that section there that we need to face upwards. So we're going to put one in this side here. Now, it doesn't matter which one we put in. They are labeled, all of these. One says, well, I've got three number ones, and I think I've got one number four somewhere. There you go, look, number four there. But it doesn't matter. They're all the same thing. So we can put the second one in this side over here. And as you can see, you've got two holes on that side two holes on that side. Now we need to keep this into place. So we have got the top here and the top is just quite simply just going to go on top like that to hold all of that in so those sides now won't come out and we're going to be putting those into place with IP screws. Obviously the IP screws come in this one. These are the only screws that come in this one uh, stage 59 and we've got four of them to put in so let's get them in now. Here's the first one. Nice and tight. That's number one. I'll spin it round and I'll do the other side there. That is number two. We've got number three here. And finally, number four, just going into the last hole there. Just like that. So there, that should look just like that. It's quite a solid box there. We can put that to one side because we're going to mirror exactly what we just did on this side now. 
But this time, again, we're going to be putting these blankers in with the gap section facing upwards. So that's the first side going in just like that. We do the other side over here just like that. And then you'd think I'll be putting this on top. But no, that is all there is to do in issue 59. Now you can see why I'm going to be doing issue 60 as well. Uh, so we can continue where we are left off on that issue. So issue 60. Now, as you can see, this one more than makes up for it. Look at the little tiny bits we've got here to put in. So uh, I don't know how easy this one's going to be, but we will see. They're actually calling stage 60 the UHF signal and power distribution unit and peripheral device. And the first bits that we're going to need look just like this, which is the peripheral back. And we've got the peripheral front looking just like that. And quite simply, as you can see, we've got two locating lugs in here. That's just going to go in to the two lugs that we see here. I just had to spin that round just like that. Push that down. And it actually holds itself in there. No problems at all. You don't need to put any glue or anything in there. It holds that in really tight. Then we've got the peripheral monitor looking just like that. Now, this has got four sort of like holes in it. I don't know if you can see that at all. Uh, it doesn't really matter what way we go round, to be honest with you. Oops. But that's going to go into the square that you can see just there. So I'll push that in. And when that's in, it should look just like that. Now we're going to take the plate from the last stage. And this, as you can see, has got two, lo two lugs and a locating lug there. It's just going to go into the holes right in the middle there. And we're going to hold this in just from the other side there with two AP screws. So I've got them here. These are silver screws. Quite a few of them actually in this one. So quite simply, I'm just going to put one in there now. So here's the first one. That will hold that into place. And the second one just on the other side there. Just like that. All the way in. And that holds that nice and tight so now that looks just like that now we're going to be putting this on top of the box here but what we want to do is we want this front monitor here to be facing towards the holes at the side on this one so this is going to go on just like that so four screws there we're going to be putting these in with ip screws so i'll get these open and we'll put these ones in You know, if you're into your electric modding, you would be in your element with all of these little gadgets and gizmos here. Because the amount of things you could do to light them up, put sounds on them. Uh, I'll be honest with you, that's way past my expertise. But uh, you just know that things like this are going to be coming. <laughs> and I'm looking at model mods for that sort of thing, to be honest with you. <laughs> but we will see. And here's the last one here. And that's going to have that nice and tight down one complete unit looking just like that now absolutely lovely detail this one look at that one there if i show you on the close-up actually looking just like that this is going to go on the sides that you can see all the holes and we do have a locating lug just at the top there that's going to help us put that in it's going to go in just like that now we've got the bottom section here that we worked on before as well. That's going to go on the bottom just like that there. And then we're going to hold this all into place with six GP screws. So I've got them here. Let's get them open. Now the bottom and the top sections here don't touch. This one's actually, look, if I line this up again, this is sort of like going in that way the bottom one's going to be sort of going in that way. So you're going to have a gap between them. But I'll put the top ones in first. So here's the first screw. They're very tiny screws, these ones. There you go, that's the first one in. Do the second one. And once again, we are going into plastic, so you don't need to over tighten them, just enough till it's hand tight in there. And then we put the third one in, which is going in this side just here. And then we're going to be working on exactly the same thing, but the bottom section here. So I'm going to line them up just like that and put the last three in here. Number one. That 
that's number two and then finally the last one just in the other side here that's number three and as you can see that's in perfectly now it doesn't move around and that's what it looks like from either side now because you've got that gap we're going to need to reinforce both sides of these and to do that we've got some brackets here now the brackets are l-shaped in other words at the bottom they come out as an l there uh, but that l at the bottom is going to be facing out so when we put the brackets on it's going to go like that so it's facing out from the bottom there so i'll put that down this is actually going to be attached here with four screws and they are kp screws and we've got hundreds of them in this bag here <laughs> so lots and lots and lots of screwing in this one so we got 16 screws to put in i think we'll quicken this up And there we go that's all of those in that side and now that's what that looks like for the front it's quite a rigid piece this is now now it's going to get fun because we're going to be putting all the switches and dials in that now all of those as you can see here are on sprues so we've got these ones here and then we've got the double ones on this side here now on the other side of the double-sided lugs there you've got the switches and on this one it's just the buttons here so I think we're going to do the switches first. So let's get these cut off with my sprue cutters here. These sprue cutters, once again, are in the Amazon store. I'll put a link down there. I'm going to get all of these cut off in one go. But that's one. You see how easy this is. Two. And I'll get these all off. So they're all off. And I'm going to start putting the switches now into these ports here down the bottom now these are all black at the moment and uh, I think in post-production I probably am going to paint them uh, we'll see how they look when I put them in but all you do is you push them into the lug holes there just like that and it looks just like that going to continue doing that for all of them and when they're all in they look just like that they don't need any glue in you see they hold themselves in no problems at all all we've got to do now is put the switches in or the uh, dials I guess they are they could be buttons who knows? <laughs> but when you cut these off, you want to make sure you've got ample um, sort of like material at the back so you can push these in. I've just got one out there. Let's just show you what that's going to look like. We push them into the hole here and they just push in, as you can see there. Let's do all of these. And when they're all in, they should look just like that. I love the details on them. Looks really good. Now we're going to bring over this section that we finished off in the last issue because we're going to be mounting this to this here and basically it's going to be going this way round with the switches on this side facing the grid on this side. So we've got some locating lugs just in the bottom there and as you can see that little pin there is just going to go into the hole there just like that. And it's going to be held in with AP screws at the bottom. So we need two of those. Here's the first one. One. The second one on this side over here. Two. And then where the brackets were, we need to put one, two, three, four KP screws to put the bracket down to hold this all into place. So here we go for these. As I said, issue 60, no shortage of screwing. <laughs> so that's one. This is gonna be a, need a long shaft uh, screwdriver to get in between the two sections here. But that's number two. Two more.
that's number three and lastly number four just over the far side here so now that's fully attached to that base there it's quite heavy actually this is then all we've got to do is bring over the vehicle so there's the vehicle over there now as you can see we've got three holes just here they're going to match the three holes that we can see one two and three it's going to go this way round. so i'll put this in place and secure this in with three ap screws i'll do the hardest one first which i think is going to be in the middle here and that's gone in absolutely fine two more we need one just at this side behind the jump seat there and the last one just at the back here just like this make it nice and down that's going nowhere and that's all there is to do in this stage so there you go that was issue 60 i said issues 61 and 62 are going to be coming next week I have now got the kiddies this weekend, so I'm going to have a good weekend with them. As I said, this is the last time I'm going to see them until after Christmas. Now, I haven't gone for Christmas this year, uh, so I'm going to make the most of this weekend. Uh, but thank you all for your well wishes for Mrs. World of Wayne as well. She's doing really good. Uh, we've got the mother-in-law here at the moment, so she's helping out as well. You want to see the uh, Christmas jumper, don't you? Ta-da! <laughs> I thought I'd show this off. I got this today. As a matter of fact, it was Svee from the channel who gave me the idea to get one of these. Uh, or actually, his missus <laughs> gave me the idea to get one of these. You can't beat a bit of Gremlins. It's 80s vibe here all the way. Uh, we are going to be doing another one before Christmas. That's going to be next week, as I said. Uh, but we won't be getting another delivery of the Ecto-1 until after Christmas. So if you only watch my channel uh, for that, uh, I hope I've uh, made it a little bit more festive at the end there for you. But listen, if you like that video, please remember to give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care